How's it going, everybody? It's the Black Car Guru. I'm currently off of Taylor Port and Red Bull mixed together, but that's a whole nother story for another day. We're going to be talking about the Pontiac G8 GT with the 6.0. Now, these things are powered by the infamous L76 6.0 LS. Now, they supposedly make 355 horsepower and 385 foot-pounds of torque, but trust me when I tell you, that's just at the crank. Now, if you put that power through the transmission to the wheels, it's probably just 315 horsepower and about 340 foot-pounds of torque. Now, when it comes to these Gen 4 blocks, which is what this is, the rods can handle about 800 horsepower, but a safe horsepower limit for the rods would be like 720 to 750. The pistons are hyper-rotated cast aluminum alloy. These things are not meant for boost at all. If you're on a budget budget, I suggest you try these Summit Pro LS pistons. They can handle a thousand horsepower, but you'll need these particular wrist pins for those pistons if you're aiming for a thousand. Now, if you're just hell-bent on making a thousand horsepower, these cheap Summit Pro LS rods are the ones for you. Now, like I said, they got Lunati. They have a uh, K1. They have uh, Cali's. They have a whole lot of brands, but if you're on a budget, need I remind you, then you just got to go with budget parts, and these rods can handle 1,200 horsepower. Please to God, change that oil pump. Don't be lazy. Multi-layer steel head gaskets is a must. Now, before we get to this whole cam and valve train and shit, you need to do the DOD and AFM delete system. Now, DOD stands for displacement on demand and AFM stands for air fuel management. You're going to have to delete all of that shit. Oh, and the VVTI too. Please. ARP head studs. ARP main studs. Why? Because you don't want your bottom end falling out. <laughs> like... <laughs> And ARP head studs. Why? Because you don't want your bottom end falling out like your grandma's ass and some Daisy Dukes in the 60s. Piston rings. Why? Because those pistons I showed you do not come with rings. Just, just piston. Now, as far as the heads, you really don't need to go get aftermarket heads. Why? Because this thing came factory with LS3 style heads on a 6.0. Get a trunnion kit for them rocker arms. Stage 3 NA cam from BTR. A Cam 660 lift valve spring kit and retainers. Now, as far as boost, if you're looking for simplicity, you can do a Pro Charger or you can do one of these TVS 2650 Supercharger kits. It's real easy both on shit. Now, the thing about it, though, before you crank your car up, please make sure you get this damn thing tuned because a lot of y'all hard-headed. You can also do turbos. You know, a lot of people like turbos. It's up to you. Love you. Peace.